deepfakes, and AI-generated media. Unverified viral claims. Unclear sourcing of information. It can be hard to know who and what to trust online. At the University of Washington Center for an Informed Public, we're proud of our efforts to support multidisciplinary research and the development of educational programming and information literacy resources. Our work not only supports a more informed public, but also has inspired teachers, librarians, and other educators to apply these lessons and skills in their classrooms and communities across the state of Washington and beyond. Media literacy uh, encompasses a lot of things, actually. It's the ability to access the information that you need. It's the ability to evaluate information and see if it's credible um, and if you should be using it and relying on it. Um, and it's the ability to create information as well that speaks to other people. In 2019, the University of Washington's Information School hosted the first Miss Info Day where 200 high school students and their teachers and librarians came to UW's Seattle campus for educational sessions on learning skills on spotting misinformation and sorting fact from fiction online. Miss Info Day soon became the centerpiece of a statewide partnership between the University of Washington's newly launched Center for an Informed Public and Washington State University's Edward R. Murrow College of Communication to connect this work with more schools and communities across our state. Miss Info Day is an annual event where we bring high school students and teachers and librarians together onto campus for a day of learning about how to navigate complex information environments. We all benefit when people know how to find truthful information and use that as part of their decision making. So in this case, our goal is to have students be smarter about, about finding good information, trustworthy information, uh, uh, when they leave than when they came. One of you is a software engineer trying to detect deep fake. One of you is a social media CEO. Following virtual programming during the COVID-19 pandemic, in-person learning returned in 2023 with Miss Info Day events at UW Seattle, WSU Pullman, and WSU Vancouver. In recent years, more than 2,600 teachers, librarians, and other educators across our state have participated in Miss Info Day learning events. With Miss Info Day, researchers and experts have designed interactive workshops and activities to engage high school students and others around how they use social media and find information online. This is the second year that I've facilitated a session on TikTok. We're trying to really empower them using the skills that they already have, giving them a few more sort of critical media literacy skills. And so next time when they're sitting there scrolling on TikToks, they're more of an active consumer of information. Anybody else three, four, in this paper? Did you say that? Through an ongoing research collaboration at the University of Washington Information School, our Center for an Informed Public faculty, students, and partners have worked to develop escape room style games that can be played online and in person, gaming activities with different themes that show how we're all vulnerable to misinformation. Well, it's really interesting to see how like the exact same pieces of evidence can arrive at different conclusions. These games are also used in Miss Info Day. They've been developed with this question in mind. How can we build awareness and resilience toward misinformation in a fun and rewarding manner? Misinformation is such a critical issue, um, but we talked to a lot of libraries and some of the issues that librarians were sharing with us is it's hard to reach out to a wider population when you want to talk about misinformation. But games are something that appeal to a lot of different people. I think learning about misinformation is important because as we go farther into the digital age, obviously we're kind of there already, but as we go farther in and as AI becomes more prevalent, in our community, I think it'll be more important to be able to spot things like this where people with distorted teeth or hair growing out of the wrong places could be seen as AI deep fakes instead of real photos. It is not just a K through 12 issue. Students need it, adults need it, 
everyone, yeah, of all ages. We all use information every day for, for trivial questions, for large questions, so we all need to be better at being able to sort through it. At the CIP, we've been proud of our work to support intergenerational learning opportunities in Washington, where we've worked with educators to plan learning activities at their schools, where students teach the adults in their lives, including their parents and grandparents, skills they've been learning in the classroom. Students are prepared to tell them why that skill is important, demonstrate the skill, and then have the audience practice on another piece of media. So um, it is actually a good opportunity for older adults, people who have never learned these skills in school because they're new, um, to learn how to fact check something they've seen on Facebook or um, somewhere else on the web. <laughs> Can we try again? I'm impressed how many people actually were like interested in coming here. It definitely changes your perspective about online and how true and false it can be. This is going to be really good and really positive for people to know about. There's this cross-generational connection that's happened. I think that's always good for a community. So adults are learning, kids are teaching and learning. It's beautiful. It's total success. And it's really interactive. They you know them. Um, people who come to those, the parents are like picking up their phone and, and like practicing the things that they're learning right there so that hopefully that becomes a habit. Did you say that? In so many ways, teachers, librarians, and academic researchers here in Washington have been leading the way in rethinking and improving the ways we teach media literacy skills while inspiring educators in other states and other countries. Yes, this is very important. One of the critical skills that students are going to learn because it is with them for the rest of their lives, right? For the rest of their lives, they have to make decisions based on the information that they get. So I don't think there's any skill that's more important.